and I'm a long distance runner from Tasmania, Australia. This week has been another busy week, starting off with me being identified in the Tasmanian local newspaper as one of the top 50 rising school stars. The next event of my week was the Southern Tasmanian All Schools Athletics Carnival. Uh Hi Jess, um, so tomorrow you've got uh, a big race being the um, uh, schools carnival, an all schools carnival. Um, what are you actually doing at the moment? So I'm just doing some stretching and rolling so that I'm nice and loose and ready for my races tomorrow. So how long will you reckon you do that for? Um, I'll just make sure that I get a good roll and stretch for as long as my muscles need. So will you just use sort of uh, your orange roller or you will use something else? I use this roller and sometimes a purple spiky bowl as well as just some stretching on the ground. Okay, so and that's like uh, something that you do prior to every main race event? Yes, every main race after some training sessions and races and always prior to races. Okay, good. So it's um, the morning of the race and uh, what are you going to have for breakfast? I'm just having my standard breakfast that consists of yogurt, oats and blueberries. So why do you eat that? Well, I know that it's light and it doesn't play up with my stomach when I'm running. Okay. Um, so what events are you doing today? I'm doing the 3000 metre in the morning and the 1500 metre later in the day. What do you think will be your hardest event? I reckon the 3000 metre will be the hardest event as it's a good quality field. So do you think the conditions will um, have an impact on today's running? Yeah, well it's pretty windy outside so we'll just have to check some tactics and try and sit in. Just arrived at the track and I'm a little bit nervous but it's really windy outside so I better go warm up for my 3k which is the first event of the day. I just finished competing at the Southern Tasmanian Schools Athletics Carnival. I wasn't too happy with my 3000 metre in the morning as I had a sore leg during the race and I didn't feel too good. I was also a fair few seconds off my PB but it's alright because some days you don't have the best days. But in the afternoon I was quite happy with my 1500 metre being only a couple seconds off my PB and taking the race out. So this week also I got braces. One thing about the braces for me is that I haven't been able to eat some of the foods that I would usually eat as my teeth have been sore. I also had to complete a session on the treadmill instead of being at one of the local venues with all my squad members as I wasn't sure how much pain my teeth would be in. So to finish off the week, I spent the full weekend in Launceston, Tasmania, playing many games in a basketball tournament. My team won two out of three games on Saturday and on Sunday we played off to get into the grand final but unfortunately we lost by six points so this meant we played off for third and fourth but there was actually no rostered game to play off for these positions. Overall it was a really fun weekend that I got to spend with my teammates playing one of my favourite sports.
that's it for this week's weekly update. Thanks for following my journey. You too can also support my running by donating to my GoFundMe page, which can be found through the Love Athletes website.